See the college game where nine people died and 26 people were injured? How was that? That was crazy, man. And it was like, um, we had 18 guys who were supposed to work outside. Puff had called me the day before that and said, yo, Jay, we don't need those 18 guys. We only need eight. I said, my man, you ain't going to, you're not going to secure eight, use eight people to secure the front. He said, no, Heavy D said, uh, we're going to use the FOI. I said, the FOI? He said, yeah, Gene. So I told my man, I said, yo, man, I'm not even going to do it. And then he told me, he said, uh, man, we just go ahead and do it. The stars are going to be there. And we just, uh, Puff said, we don't got to do the outside. Uh, we'll just do the gym. He said, we'll do the gym. I said, okay. Uh, we'll secure the stars in the gym and so nobody would mess with the stars that were coming in. When I got there and seen the setup, I went to Puff directly. I said, yo, dog, some people going to die at this damn door if they don't set this barricade and this shit up right. He was like, no, nah, Gene, just let them do it. Let them do it. Don't worry about it. Go to the gym and help the people in the gym. You know what I'm saying? Help the, you know, the stars that come in the gym and everything like that. So uh, all hell broke out. Mike Tyson, uh, uh, what's his name? LL Cool J. Yeah. You know, and they was the biggest stars back then coming from New York. Mike Tyson and LL in the same place? My man, listen here. All hell broke out at that door. And then next thing you know, uh, when they burst through the burst through the glass door and they start uh, rushing Jessica Ro Rosenberg, I think Rosenberg with the money, her and my, one of the guys I put security on her, they ran downstairs. But she shut the door on him and everybody else. And that's how the people start suffocating downstairs. The dude radioed me. He said, yo, Gene, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. His name, Eddie. Eddie is one of the guys. He's home now. He had this 17 years in the fed, fed joints for distribution of cocaine. So he's here to tell this story too. So he said, Gene, um, I can't breathe. I can't breathe, Gene. And then I ran around the gym, cut through the, uh, ran downstairs, cut through the basketball court while they were still playing the ball and lining up to do the layups and everything like that. And I pushed the door open and then people just start coming in. Then I pushed the other door open because the door only went inside. You could push, you had to push it from the inside. They lock from the outside. So I just pushed those doors open. People just start falling in. Then people was coming in. It was crazy. And uh, the one dude that I told him not to, to hold up, because he had nice and smooth, I was going to take them around the other way where the stars was coming in there. He said, no, I got him. He was laid on the floor dead. He was about 6'2", 300 and some pounds. He on the floor dead. So it was crazy, man. Because there was a girl pregnant as well, and she was yeah. pregnant. Uh, one of the girls that were pregnant, that was this this uh, rapper that we know as called Father MC. It was his girlfriend. You understand? Uh, this guy named Tone Wap and me and some other people got her out the glass door when they was bum rushing her. You know what I'm saying? At the top. We got her away. We was like, yo, ma, go home. This ain't the place for you. Turned around because, you know, Everything that was going on, she snuck down the steps and they found her dead too. How do you deal with that, Gene? I never did. 